Before we get started, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell icon. Let's proceed further. And suppose I want to add two numbers or let's say two columns. For example, let's say if I have subtotal and let's say I have tax amount and if I execute this, you see I'm getting subtotal with tax amount and let's try to add these two fields together. So for that, I can just use plus operator. For example, I can just give subtotal plus tax amount and you see that both of these are numeric fields all right so if i click on execute you see it has added the value of subtotal with tax amount and you see here we have the new value now here you see it is not showing any column name that is it shows no column name so if you want to display a particular column name of your choice then you can use an alias for that you have to use as keyword so you can just give here as let's say if I want to give an alias that is a temporary column name so I can just say like let's say sub total with tax amount so I've given a meaningful name so if I execute this now you see this is the column name which is displaying here so this is just a temporary column name in the same way you can also give minus operator for example if I just give here minus and let's say if I just remove this and give something like let's say a and you see here if I click on execute now this is the difference between subtotal and tax amount similarly you can give into or you can also give division operator so for example if I just give like this let's execute this so in this case if the value of this tax amount is zero then that will be a problem so if i just show you you see here in this case tax amount is not zero that is the reason we are not having any problem but let's say the value of tax amount is zero and if i execute this you see it says divide by zero error encountered so whenever you give division operator make sure that this particular value whatever it is having must not be equal to zero so it can be either greater than zero or less than zero and in this case i see that all the records are greater than zero so i can just give here where this particular column is greater than zero like this so it is better to write something like this that is where tax amount is greater than zero and if i execute this you see that it has executed successfully.